we know that the smaller the reference vessel diameter, the higher the rates of restenosis, even in drug eluding stents. And for lesions that involve extremely small vessels, say less than 2.25 millimeters in diameter, we don't have many great options to safely treat those patients because we don't have a stent that is available that can treat such small vessels. Now we don't have good options for patients who have significant lesions that are important that involve very small vessels. We could do a balloon angioplasty with the attendant risk of acute closure, dissection. We can undersize a 225 stent. We don't want to do that. You get stent under expansion, possible stent thrombosis. Well, the Resolute Onyx stent is a next generation Resolute Zotarolimus eluding stent. It has a smaller or a, a thinner strut than the Resolute Integrity. It has a slightly different shape. It's swaged or the Resolute Onyx 2.0 millimeter clinical study explore the safety and efficacy of a dedicated 2.0 millimeter stent for the treatment of such lesions. This was a prospective observational study involving 20 sites in the U.S. and Japan that used a performance goal as the marker for success with a primary endpoint of target lesion failure. We followed uh, 101 patients for 12 months and found really remarkably low clinical event rates. At one year follow-up, the rate of target lesion failure was only 5%. The rate of target lesion revascularization was only 2%. We also did an angiographic cohort of 26 patients and found that the late loss was quite low, only 0.26 millimeters on average, really very similar to what we see for prior resolute stents in larger vessels. So really a, a, a really nice result in that we had low target lesion failure rates, no episodes of stent thrombosis, and fairly small late loss. So we showed that a, a dedicated Onyx 2 stent had very low rates of failure with no stent thrombosis. So that really opens up a whole set of challenging lesions to successful therapies with a new drug-eluting stent. <laughs>